Now I'm going to tell you five to six very, very key uh, points, very, very major points that you need to remember, all right? Almost, let's say, six points. Uh, I'm not sure six or five. Anyways, so the first point I want to tell you, if, if let's say, uh, A and B is an ordered pair, and we have another ordered pair, let's say, P and Q also, then two ordered pair will be only equal if and only if. If and only if. IFF represents if and only if if all right uh, we did like this only if the first element of the two order pair is equal and second elements of those both other pair is equal all right if the first elements and second elements both are equal then we can say that two other pairs are equal all right and the second if p and q are uh, two sets and either uh, let's say p or q is an empty set is an empty set then that case the Cartesian product of Q will have also no number of elements. I mean, that will be also an empty set, all right? If either P or Q is empty set, then the Cartesian product of them will be also an empty set, all right? It's very simple. So, uh, either both are empty or either one is empty, then anyhow, you, if you're going to do the Cartesian product, you're going to get the empty set. And the third point you have to remember is, let's say P and Q are to non-empty set this time non-empty set all right and if uh, either p or q is an infinite set infinite set what do you understand from this i uh, have already learned in uh, the theory of set theory all right that having a lot of lot of elements you cannot count the numbers there are countless number of uh, elements in in a set then such set is called uh, such set is called a uh, 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 infinite set then that time the total number of elements the total number of order pair in the p cross q or you say uh, Cartesian product of p and q will be also infinite keep in mind all right so it's very simple either p or q is infinite set then then the p cross q will be an infinite set or or p or q may be both infinite set all right now fourth point to remember let's say if uh, total number of elements in set a is p and total number of elements in set b is q then total number of order pair in the cartesian product of a and b will be pq or you say p times q all right let's say a set is having three number and another set is having two number then the cartesian product of those two will be three times two that is six all right you understand uh you can see the example also you know the total possible cartesian product uh when we have two members in first uh, set and when we had two members in second set, then the total possible order pair were one, two, three, and four. All right. And in the second case, if you see three and here we have two. So three times two, six. And the total possible sets were one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. That's it. And now the fifth point you need to remember is let's say you have order pair AB and you have another order pair, uh, let's say BA. So my dear friend, a comma B is not equal with B comma A. That's it. All right. You have to remember this. These are not equal. All right. Both they are same, but the positions is different. And the sixth point that you need to remember, it's about the other triplet. All right. Uh, let's say A cross A cross A. The same set is crossing with it, uh, itself three times. Then definitely you'll get a other pair like A comma B comma C and uh, A, B, C all will belong, all will belong to A. All right, then uh, this set, you know, A, B, C is called ordered triplet, ordered triplet. All right, uh, you remember these things. These are some uh, few uh, things that you need to remember. These six points, I hope you remember. And uh, I, I believe that you learned uh, well what is called Cartesian product. And if there is any more confusion or any type of the question you need to ask me, then please feel free to comment below this video. I'll be really happy to reply you back. Until the time, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back with new concept.